Welcome to Silverstone's National Circuit and the first test of the 2021 BSB season. I'll be following Honda Racing UK in their bid for BSB glory. We'll meet everyone in the team from the riders, their crew chiefs, the big team boss and everyone else who plays their part. At this stage of the season, it's about getting bedded back in. The riders need to reacquaint themselves with speed, but it's not just about those guys. The whole team are shaking out and making that transition from the workshop back in Louth to their mobile offices here in the pits. Everything needs to be dialed in. It's not simply a case of the riders buzzing around until the fuel lights come on in each of the four 40 minute sessions they have over two days. The amount of data being pulled over is mind boggling. The crew chiefs look like traders, they're studying multiple screens and then they seem to just jump up, get out on the trading floor and make their moves. Not a single second is wasted. I've seen these bikes come apart and go back together as easy as Lego. These test days are critical, not for your entertainment or for mine, but for the team to build the best possible chances of success when the lights go out at round one at Alton Park at the end of June. So you join me with Harve Beltran, team manager for Honda Racing UK. We're just going to catch up and talk about the last couple of days. The first question I've got for you relates to this stage of pre-season. Uh, and what a typical day looks like for you. Typical day, John, uh, it's quite a difficult one, but um, you know, the last three months have been um, challenging. Uh, we've had quite a lot on, as you can well imagine, with having three riders in Superbike and one rider in Superstock. There's been a lot behind the scenes, if you like, in just pulling this all together. So you've got two new Japanese riders in Ryo Mizunu and Takumi Takahashi. I've seen them moving up and down the timing sheets today. Talk me through the various challenges that you think they face at this stage of the season. So for, for both of them, the first challenge is, is the new circuits, all the circuits in the UK. They've got to learn all of those and adapt to riding here in the UK. For Takumi, he's ridden on Pirelli tires. So the Pirelli tire is not a new issue for him. But for Rio, moving from Bridgestone tires to Pirelli, so he's not only got to learn the circuits, he's also got to understand and be able to work with a Pirelli tyre. And bearing in mind, this is the first test. We know we've got a lot to do and a lot more to go through. Glenn's done a great job, knowing where we finished off in our Portimao test at the back of the year. He's done a great job in the winter, and bearing in mind, not being on a bike for five yeah. weeks, so you've suddenly got to get all your per perception and your... Just get used to going fast again. And, you know, up to running around at 150, 180 mile an hour again. Yeah. So that's it, the end of a successful first test. Let's swing over to Donington Park and see how the final test before round one is going. Following a wet but successful Snetterton test, unfortunately Takumi crashed at Alton Park and dislocated his shoulder. After the rehab process, we expect to be back as soon as possible. Rio has continued to improve at each and every test. Let's catch up with his crew chief, Paul Williamson. We had a good test at Silverstone. This is obviously his first time on the UK track. He's got a lot to learn, you know, obviously with coming to the team, he's got a lot to learn with the Pirelli tyre. Previously to this, he's been on Bridgestones. He's come to the championship from JSB, where they've got electronics, they've got traction control. That's a full-blown superbike, but you've got some rider aids in there as well, so it makes the riding a little bit easier. Um, so the BSB class, control ECU, no rider aids, so he's got to understand the Pirelli tyre, and also how to use the Pirelli tyre with 230 horsepower and no traction control. So there's a lot going on, but you know we keep progressing. Each test we do, we keep learning and understanding. So 
as long as we keep making that progress, it will be all right. In the Superstock class, Tom finished in the top three at Knock Hill, but let's not forget he is still on the recovery process as well, following knee surgery in the off-season. Let's catch up with Glenn and get his thoughts on the pre-season so far. So we've wrapped up our uh, pre-season testing of 2021. So much different to last year, you know, obviously new bike last year, like most new bikes, you get what you've got. Development comes down the line and I guess COVID probably did impact us getting some components. So this year it's been a complete opposite. Loads of stuff to try. This job is like the dream, but I've really felt like I've been at work at a lot of the tests, you know, I'm loving it, but you got a schedule to get through, so we've always been able to meet our target to end fast, make the bike end the, the test in a good window, and it's been tough, and I demand a lot because I, I want a lot, um, and at times it's hard on the guys maybe, but you know they've been able to give me what I wanted. It's maybe took us to the end of every test to be able to do that. We tested at Alton Park as well, it was good. Probably the only test where we didn't end up, you know, maybe top four of every, every test. I think Knock Hill, we ended up P1, Silverstone P1, here P4. But yeah, no, testing's been great. Still stuff to try. The boys are still, you know, machining links and stuff uh, because we do have to keep trying to improve. But I feel really confident. I'm happy with the team. I just thank all the guys for, for taking my loud, uh, frustration sometimes and you know, we've ended up with a good bike yet again. The team have set their sights on round one at Alton Park on the 25th of June. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you there.